Akira, shut the fuck up. Personally, so I feel like personally, Akira, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Okay, so this one says, I, if, if I want to date someone, should I date with a goal of marriage or an open mind to see where it leads? Well, um, pers so personally, I feel like I can't date someone if I don't see myself being able to marry you. So even if we don't end up together, even if we don't end up married, I must be able to see that, oh, I can actually get married to this person if the opportunity comes, if this person ends up being my um, soulmate or my one or the one. You get me like I should be able to see myself getting married to you. So it's not like I won't just date somebody that I know that I can never bring you home. Like, oh you can't meet my parents, like I can't marry you. You get me like I can't just date you just because of dating sick. Like, yeah, you should be able to like know like have an open mind towards that oh if this person is not my person then I should be able to move on. But not like to the point where you're just like, Oh, I'm not marrying you, so you get me. I don't know if you guys are getting what I'm trying to say, but like, always think first before you accept the person. Maybe I think I'm mean like, if this relationship should go on for about four years, five years, or three years, and this person asks me to marry him, will I say yes? Do you get me? So like, from the jump, you should know if this is see. You're not talking about oh, we need to get to know each other for three years. No, from the jump, you should be able to know if you can marry this person from the first thing like first impressions i know yeah people can hide over first impressions but like during the talking stage you should be able to know if this person's values match your values which is like do you get me the whole point of the talking stage and also i feel like you should actually like aim towards marriage not just dating because of dating so yeah so and then the person also said what keeps a relationship putting god aside um communication Communication is actually really, really. People always say communication. Everybody's like, oh my god, communication. communication. Yes, it's like not just, oh, yeah, I'm hearing you. Are you listening? Do you get me? So it's like, y'all should actually be able to talk to each other and like talk about stuff and be able to fix your issues without bringing other people in. So I feel like communication is important. Trust also. Like, I should be able to trust you. Like, especially, oh my god, especially long term relationships. Oh my god. Yo, if you don't trust him, there's no point because. You're going to just sit down every single day and be crying because you, there's always going to be females where he works like do you get me so like you have to just be able to trust the person so communication and trust actually um that, that's basically it sometimes love doesn't even come into the equation until later on so like you should be able to communicate and trust the person so yeah the next question is i believe life is very interesting people make it so what makes a relationship better than being single a relationship is not better than being single. That's just facts. Like if you are, if you if you love yourself, if you're okay with being by yourself, you can be as happy as someone that's in a relationship. You can be happier than someone that's. There are a lot of people that are in relationships that are miserable. So you can't say a relationship is better than being single. That's my answer. Next question says, I have this guy friend that I like. He's cute and all, but then if I want to get into a relationship with him, I want it to be. I want it to last for a long time probably marriage but then he's yoga and my parents wouldn't want me to marry a yoga person what am i going to do oh okay so um from personal experience i've had a person in my family marry somebody that we didn't want her to, and the family didn't want her to marry now this was religion not tribe so this was religion and right now they're separated they've been married for i don't know not up to 10 years probably five or six so i would actually think i would actually am um, and then okay even despite everything my family still supported her and everything so you feel like your family would actually eventually um accept the person the person has a good character and i feel like yeah you could actually ease them into it. it's not just like oh you hide the relationship and then one day you just come and say i'm getting married let them know that you're dating this person let them get used to this person before you guys get to the point of marriage and then if you feel like it's not going to be possible 
no way your parents will go green then don't bother don't bother i mean you could do it for the experience but like i don't see myself dating somebody when i know like there's no possibility of marriage like that's how i can't marry i can't date a muslim because i know i can't marry a muslim because of all the things i've seen happening with um christian muslim marriages you get me so like i can't marry i can't date a muslim because i know i can't marry you so like there's no point in dating you and wasting my time you get me so yeah um person talk say i get money to spend is anybody out there <laughs> lmao bro that's my answer <laughs> say somebody say why am i single you're single because nobody likes you somebody said in a relationship or not why do girls have to be the suffering be the suffering end of everything boys don't have any problem i don't get you so okay if it's like outside relationships and the fact that girls have menstrual pain and boys don't have anything that yeah like i don't fucking get that but like um boys do have problems relationship wise some people say that some people tend to say that oh boys don't feel anything when there's a breakup if a boy actually liked you liked you he would feel something when you guys break up i've had my friends they had broken my best friend was had broken for a very long time boys go through pain it's just that boys are boys they hide it because they are just see boys are brought up in a way that oh don't show pain blah 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 so like yeah boys know how to hide it more they don't just come out on the internet and be posted although some people actually do that but like, they don't just come and be crying in front of you and all they probably cry in their bedrooms and girls do it everywhere but like yeah you get me so boys actually do feel pain is kissing considered as fornication Possibly, possibly. Let's be real. Let's be real. Y'all know kissing could lead to other things. So <sighs> probably, I don't know. Like I don't really know the Bible up to that point, but like I feel like it is. It depends. Okay, yes. Now, if you just do, I don't think that is fornication. I mean, I what would I? I can't even see. I can't even date somebody without properly. I can't even. How? So you 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 just don't get get engaged to somebody, or you will be in a courtship, or dating somebody, and you don't even like like normal tech like oh hey babe. Seriously, nah, hold up, no. Yeah, it might be. It's I don't know if it's a thing, but like I feel like normal like it's not fornication. It's when you start going deeper, and then your hands are more then. Yeah, I feel like that, 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 that then that is fornication, but like a peck is shouldn't be. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not saying according to the Bible, I'm saying according to what I think. Oh, is it good for a girl to take the first step in a relationship? It's not bad. Like, it's something I would do. It's something I've done. First step as well, like to talk to a guy first. Yes, I have. I've DM'd the guy first and we did it. So, <laughs> it's not bad. I feel like girls should actually step up and do things themselves. If the guy see, you're talking to a guy and you really fancy him, but like he's still doing that. Nigga, I like you, so what's up? That's <laughs> it's as easy as that. Like just like I like you, what's up? It's like what are we doing here? Like even if it's like oh you guys have been talking and he's like slow, if like excuse me sir, I don't have time to play. What's up? What are we doing? Like where is this going to? I don't want to waste. I wasted my time. See, I, I, I would, I would do this. I would tell you this story about my that eleven months. Ah, I, this is a story. I must do story time. I must. I will told myself because yeah, I want you all to know. Sometimes things get toxic, and I will do a story time on that. Let's move on. Okay, so person was like, why is it Valentine is coming? Where is your boyfriend? Instead of why Valentine is coming, where is your girlfriend? Because I feel like it's mostly girls that are always, oh my god, Valentine is coming, so like I need a man and this and that. Boys don't really fucking care. So it's girl. It's mostly girls that are like, oh my god, I need to be in a relationship. I don't think they are like the, the guys I know. They're four boys, so <laughs> so yeah, they don't really fucking care. But it's girls that will be like, oh my god, I don't have a man. Oh my god, I can't leave. I, I'm gonna die if I don't get a man soon. Mokriti are here. 
How do you know when a guy is lying? I don't know, but there are some things that somebody will tell you that you say if you go, you go like, bro, what the fuck? She mo job baby ni, I be ha. Wanna take me for idiot? No, bro. So yeah, you just I don't know. You might not know. You might never know. See, there's there might be some. You see, my dear, there's no how you will know. Pray for God's grace to help you. How do you identify the genuine interest of your partner? What do you put in my arm? Do tall, dark, and handsome guys still exist? Of course! I will insert a picture right here. Black Timmy. Perfect example. Tall, dark, and handsome. So, they still exist. Um, this one said, if my boyfriend is a terrible kisser, should we break up? I mean, you could teach him, like, make him watch videos or something, or practice a lot, and probably help him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, or you just not kiss him. <laughs> like, sis. But like, if there's actually genuine feelings there, you should, I don't think you should break up based off of, oh, he's a terrible kisser. But, like, it's also a deal breaker, because, I don't know, sis. Like, you all should work it out. <laughs> The next one says, where do I draw the line at intimacy in a relationship? I'm going to do a video on this and I've mentioned it before. Personally, we're not going to be having quarters in my relationship. So whoever, hey, I'm your brand. You guys should not talk about me in the comment section. But yeah, personally, I've mentioned it in my Q&A video. My second Q&A video is going to be on, it's going to be here. It's going to be here. It's going to pop up and you can go watch that and know what I said. But basically, there's no one to be quite us in any of my relationships. If you're a nigga and you want to slide in my DM, just know that there's no one to be quite us. If you know us, let's go browse it. So yes, personally, that's where I draw the line. But I feel like every other thing is going to happen because I'm going to do a video on this. But I had a story about a relation, a situation where these people did not have any kind of, you know, until their wedding night. And then that wedding night, after that night, that night they loan. They married for two years. And to loan your wedding night that they ever... Because the guy, first, I don't even know how the whole thing is. I don't even know. I'll, I'll research and do a video on it. But apparently, the girl was, the woman was not satisfied. I'll be kinny con, kinny con, kinny con. The guy could, I, I don't even know, two years. Two years. No. Ah. It's a marriage. When it's not like, like, it's another situation. But like, yeah, I feel like other things should, you should know, like, I'll do a video on that. <laughs> then the last question is, my partner is very flirty and you know it's and okay no your partner is very flirty and you know it's their personality but it makes you uncomfortable what do you do okay so i feel like if your partner if you meet a guy and he's very flirty you know he flirts around then you also still decide that you want to date him it was a decision day you knew how he was before. You cannot now tell him that, oh, in a relationship. We, I mean, you guys should actually speak about this kind of thing. Like, oh, I know this is your personality. You will be really friendly with females. But, like, we're getting into a relationship now. I won't condone that. You get me? Like, I, I will feel very, very uncomfortable about it. I won't feel happy about it at all. And then he has to decide if he's going to stop or not. And then if you guys decide that he's going to stop and then he doesn't stop or he's doing it behind your back and you're hearing about it, fucking break up with him. It's as simple as that. There's other guys out there, sis. Like, there's other guys out there. So, anyways, you guys, thank you very much for watching this video. We've come to the end of it. If you guys want me to do something like this, then send me your questions to my DMs on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm going to be doing a QA. You all have to drop in your assumptions about me. And I'm going to be reacting to your assumptions about me. So, don't forget to go to my Instagram and stay tuned. You're going to see it. It's going to be on my Instagram story. And then I'll also be answering you guys' questions to me. Random questions, any questions? So, without further ado, see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel down below, turn on your post notifications, and share this video with your family and your friends. On the road to 400 subscribers. See you guys in my next video. Bye! I'm so freaking tired!